Hey everybody, welcome back to The Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, guys, during my last review, um, the Booker's Review, I mentioned that I wanted to uh, get back to reviewing some uh, some true Working Man's Whiskeys, get back to basics a little bit. Um, guys, the money's not always there uh, for me, uh, maybe for some of you guys. And uh, when that happens, you know, it's, you know, there are so many good bargain whiskeys out there, good value whiskeys. Um, and it's, uh, it's important to know about them. And uh, that's why, you know, I created this channel because uh, I know I work hard for my money and uh, it's still, um, you know, it's still hard to buy uh, Booker's or a lot of these other ones um, all the time. But uh, that said, uh, this one here, American Born Bourbon, you see the bottle, um, the Don't Tread on the Snake right there. Um, saw this one in the store for $17.99. I recognize the name on it, uh, American Born. Um, this is American Born Bourbon, but uh, I'm familiar with American Born Moonshine. And uh, Milestone Brands, it's a pretty new company, I believe. Uh, they purchased uh, American Born Moonshine uh, in the recent past. And uh, when they did that, they decided to, uh, to create three new whiskeys. And uh, the three new whiskeys they created, uh, there were two uh, real fruit infused whiskeys, um, a peach, an apple, and then uh, there's this one. Uh, just the regular bourbon uh, and uh, you know I saw this and um, I wasn't sure what to think of it at first you know it's a uh, American born you know that's cool and the snake's cool and all that but I was like I was thinking yeah maybe this is just a marketing scheme you know uh, could be uh, you know just so so whiskey in there um, you know you, you never judge a book by its cover guys you never judge a whiskey by its uh, by its label you know you could have a you know really good whiskey with a plain old label or you could have you know an interesting looking bottle and uh you could have uh you know some uh i don't want to say rock gut but you know just uh something not that great you know so just uh, don't be fooled by labels or by uh by screw tops or as opposed to corks, you know, I mean, you just never know until you actually, actually, uh, taste that whiskey that's in the bottle, so, um, $17.99, you know, I didn't think I could go wrong there, um, you know, a little backstory on, uh, on this whiskey here, um, first of all, I'll read you the side, and then I'll tell you a little, uh, uh, a little history, not, not necessarily having to do with this whiskey, but it's kind of related to this whiskey, so, uh, the label says, uh, the year 1783 marked the end of the American Revolutionary War. The American spirit was born from the battle cry, don't tread on me. Uh, today there's a new revolution in American bourbon whiskey, and it's American born. And uh, as you guys can see, it's 83 proof. Or it says 83 on the side there, but it's also uh, on the side you can see it's 83 proof, 41.5% uh, uh, ABV. And uh, of course, you know, uh, the... You know, the uh, 83s for uh, the year 1783. And, uh, you know, when I think of, uh, you know, the American Revolution and, um, you know, Declaration of Independence, all that, you know, the year 1776 uh, um, is the year that sticks out to me. Um, I'm sure uh, it's the year that sticks out to most of you as well. Um, and 1783 is is an important year in uh in American history because uh it's the year that the uh, Treaty of Paris um between the US and uh, Great Britain was uh was uh, was signed um the Treaty of Paris guys it was a meeting of course as I said between the US and Great Britain and um the Continental the Continental uh, Congress uh, got a group of five guys together a team of five guys together to uh to go and work this treaty out with the uh, uh with Great Britain and uh those five guys you might recognize some of these names um were uh, John Adams uh, Benjamin Franklin John Jay uh Thomas Jefferson and uh, Henry Lawrence and uh 
that just uh, that that's when the uh, the Brits kind of um, recognized uh, our independence, you know, American independence. So, uh, kind of a neat little bit of history there, in my opinion. Um, so, anyway, um, anything else about this? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with uh, country singer. He's kind of a main, uh, mainstream country singer, uh, Lee Bryce. Uh, sings songs like um, I Drive Your Truck, uh, I Don't Dance, um, A Woman Like You. I, I think he does that one as well. Anyway, he is, uh, he is a partner in, uh, in this company here. And uh, yeah, I saw a statement from him which uh, claimed that you know, he, uh, he just loved everything that this whiskey stood for. Um, you know, the American spirit, um, hard work. And, uh, and he says that he sips this whiskey, uh, this whiskey, you know, after his shows and all that. So, um, you know, not that a whiskey necessarily needs, um, you know, celebrity endorsement. Wild Turkey has uh, Matthew McConaughey, um, and, uh, you know, some people think that's cool. Some people think it's kind of hokey. Um, either way, I mean, you know, he's, uh, yeah, I like some of his movies, but uh, I liked Wild Turkey um, long before he was in those commercials. So, uh, Lee Bryce, uh, you know, he, he's, he's a good singer. You know, he's a good country singer. I'm a big country fan. Uh, I don't listen to a whole lot of the stuff on the radio, but uh, I like a few of his songs. And, um I just thought it was interesting that uh, that he's putting his name by this uh, whiskey here, and that he's uh, on uh, on Team American Born. I guess he, uh, you know, he's part of that company. He has a partnership in there. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this, guys. As far as uh, backstory goes, it's a pretty new whiskey, um, so there's not a whole lot, uh, not a whole lot else so far. So let's open it up, see what we got. All right. And uh, this one here, guys, I believe, uh, from the research that I was able to do on this, um, I think it said uh, all the whiskey they make is um, at least 24 months old, so two years old. So it's, uh, you know, it's probably going to be a, I mean, it is a pretty young whiskey. Um, I think it says uh, it says bottled by American Born in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. But I also read that they may outsource um, a bit, uh, as a lot of uh, these big companies do now. Um, and the grains may come from uh, from Indiana, and it's as I said, it says bottled in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, but it doesn't say distilled in Nashville, Tennessee. So, thinking, uh, you know, it's probably uh, distilled in Indiana as well, and then and then bottled in Nashville. So, anyway, take a look at the color here, guys, and uh, the color it's a pretty light color here, guys. You know, it uh, doesn't look like it has a whole lot of uh, char at all. It's a light gold, so young whiskey, not necessarily a bad thing. Let's uh, give it a nose. And on the nose, there's nothing offensive about this nose at all. Um, it's not the best nose uh, I've ever smelled on a whiskey. You know, I mean, some of these young whiskeys, uh, you know, they, they just... Uh, there's not a whole lot to them. You know, there's not a whole lot of character in them. This one here, you can smell uh, some good things, though. You can smell, uh, you know, the corn sweetness. Um, de it's definitely grainy, you know. Uh, it's a, it's a, a grainy kind of uh, raw smell in whiskey. Uh, not raw in a bad way, necessarily, just as far as uh, being young goes. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you just get more of, a, of a, the graininess on the nose uh, than you would... Uh, saying, you know, a four, five, six-year-old whiskey. So, let's see what else we got. There's definitely some, uh, some like honey and floral notes in there. Little, uh, definitely some wood in there. You can definitely, uh, you know, smell the uh, the oak. But overall. 
as I said, it's just a young smelling whiskey. You know, uh, smell the grains. You can smell the uh, uh, the wood. Um, some of the floral notes in there. Let's uh, let's give give it a taste, guys. And on the uh, on the palate, it's a lot of what you're getting on the nose. Yeah, there's definitely some sweetness, some uh, corn sweetness in there. A um, little bit of wood, definitely some oak. A uh, little bit of spice, a little bit of that rice spice, but uh, a lot of graininess. It's a it's a young grainy whiskey, and uh, we've had a few of those on here. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's, there's nothing at all wrong with that, uh, depending on what your taste is. But uh, I like this one. You know, it's a, it's one that I would, you know, probably sip on every now and then. Um, you know, if, uh, shoot, $17.99 a bottle, guys. So, you know, if I'm uh, a little low on cash, I'll probably sip on this, um, mix it, whatever. I will say this, though. Um, there are worse uh you know worse whiskeys at this price point and there are, are better whiskeys at this price point as well um like if you ask me would i you know drink this before uh evan williams black no um i'd take evan williams first big evan williams fan um you know this uh this one here uh is in the same price range as shoot you can get Jim Beam for 12 bucks here um, for the same size. You can get Jack Daniels for just about the same price point here, maybe a little bit more. Jack is about probably 18 or so. Um, you know, this is, shoot, this is 18 too. So um, Jack, I like Jack um, sometimes. You know, I, I like Jack products overall, but the old number seven, uh, sometimes I'm in the mood for it. Sometimes I'm not. Um, so, you know, old number seven, I would probably drink before I drank this most of the time. But uh, if I was looking for something different, um, something a little lighter, not so uh, charcoaly, you know, um, I would probably go with this. Um, but it, it all depends on what you like. You know, it depends on your taste buds. If you like the younger taste in whiskeys, um, you know, something that's not going to burn you up too bad, uh, this might be for you. Um, there's a, there is a little bit of burn on this, but not, not a lot. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty smooth, but pretty young. So, uh, for a rating, I would give this one, I think this one deserves probably about an 80, we'll go 82. Actually, you know what? Since the theme is 83 here, we'll go 83 out of 100 on this. Um, you know, it's a, that's not a bad score, guys. It's, you know, I, I just, I happen to like uh, whiskeys a little more uh, aged, you know, a little more uh, character most of the time. Um, but again, this is something different and I, uh, I I do like it. I do like it. It's not a bad whiskey at all. And uh, I would recommend that um, you try it out. You know, see if you like it. Uh, don't take my word for it, guys. Um, yeah, we all have different uh, you know, tastes in whiskey. And uh, I'm just, I happen to uh, have a pretty a pretty great gift, in my opinion, because I'm not a bourbon guy. Or I am a bourbon guy. Let's just say I am a bourbon guy, but I'm not just a bourbon guy. Um, I love scotch. I love um, Irish whiskey. Uh, these young whiskeys here, I appreciate them. I just, I appreciate whiskey in general. This was, you know, this is somebody's baby here. I mean, that's what I always tell people, you know, when they knock a whiskey. Um, yeah, this is, somebody put their life into this stuff. And uh, as they, you know, everybody did with uh, their own whiskey. Um different companies out there but 
I just like some more than others. Um, and, uh, excuse me, uh, and right now, I think this is an okay whiskey. It's not a bad whiskey. It's a good whiskey. It's not a great whiskey. It's a good whiskey. So, uh, for $17.99, definitely try it out. Tell me what you think. And uh, that's about it for this one, guys. I have, the next review I have coming up is a name that most of you will probably uh, be familiar with. And um, it actually wasn't my intention to buy this particular uh, whiskey. You know, it's, I was, I was hoping to buy something, you know, the same, uh, the same company, but uh, they didn't have what I was looking for. So thought I'd give this one a shot and uh, let you know what I, what I uh, thought about it uh, during the next review, which should be in the next, I'll probably put it out there before uh, Thanksgiving, guys. So anyway, that's it for this one. I uh, hope to talk to you guys soon. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, let's keep this thing going, guys. Until next time, cheers.